Myanmar's democratic reforms have come with greater freedoms. But those freedoms have also unleashed tensions, especially between Myanmar's majority Buddhists and Muslim minorities. Human rights groups say hardline Buddhists are exploiting expanded free speech to preach hatred against Muslims, triggering sectarian violence that has left 200 dead since 2011. The victims are overwhelmingly Muslim. In the central Myanmar town of Mengtila, journalists found over 40 people dead after riots between Buddhists and Muslims broke out in March 2013. Observers said a Buddhist mob set fire to an Islamic school, leaving 20 children dead. Critics blame Buddhist groups like Mabatha, or the Association for the Protection of Race and Religion, for stoking violence. In sermons, the monks refer to Muslims as dogs and killers. Upa Moka, one of its founders, say Buddhists aren't to blame for the violence. Like other Mabatha monks, Upamoka has a big following. At his monastery east of Yangon, he gives aid to children and preaches about what he says are the dangers of living with Muslims. A banner there displays photos of Buddhist women allegedly attacked by Muslim men, which Muslims deny. Myanmar's former military junta jailed hardline monks in the past for inciting violence between religious groups. Now, hardline monks are influential in politics. They have backed a population control law Muslims feel will be used against them, and a law that curbs interfaith marriage, particularly between Buddhist women and Muslim men. No one wants to roll back the clock and end free speech. But Myanmar's Muslims say the country's freedoms have come with a price.